So obviously you prefer beer and you prefer wine. Yes. Okay. So how are we going to start this? Let's talk about the taste of beer. What makes beer so good? And then we're going to go to wine. Well, craft beer in particular, not, not fizzy yellow beer, mm -hmm. um, is very complex. It, it has a lot of great flavor profiles, including fruits, chocolates, coffees, herbs, spices, botanicals. So basically, there's beers out there that follow any flavor profile that you can come up with. And what kind of food pairs well with beer? Everything. There's Everything. nothing that doesn't pair great with beer. Beer is the most versatile of all alcoholic beverages. It has carbonation, which scrubs mm -hmm. your palate and refreshes it. It has bitterness, which cuts through the richest fats like cheese, chocolates, and meats. It has caramelization, which mis matches the fancy chef term Maillard reaction of searing meats and proteins. And it has sweetness, which will cut through the hottest chilies. I love it. And I, there's over 400 types of beer out there? Oh, easily. Easily. More. And beer dates back, surprisingly enough, uh, over 5,000 years yes. ago. Yeah, beer. Beer's been around for a while. Beer's been around for a while. It's actually what we think now, archaeologists and anthropologists feel it stopped us from being hunter gatherers mm -hmm. and to s settle down in one place. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I see how that works. Now let's talk about wine okay. and, and why wine is so good and what foods are best paired with wine. Well, because you're Martin, you're a, the owner. Yeah, and of, chef. And chef. Yeah, of Aqualdue and yeah. then also Tostenoteca and Cucina so in, the you, in the East Village. And you know wine. Okay, so yes. tell us about wine. Why well, you like wine, it? Well, so wine, I mean, what he said about beer, he's right, but at the same time, Wine is even more complex. Wine has more varieties and varietals and producers and regions where wine is produced. That's mm -hmm. why I think wine is better than beer uh, when comparing it in with those terms. Uh, wine has minerals, wine is floral. Uh, there's sparkling wine, there's white wine, there's rosé wine, there's red wine. And then within those categories, thousands and thousands of different ones and mm -hmm. tastes and flavors uh, that you can find to please your palate, to pair it with a, with a better uh, dish. Okay, well let's, before we talk about the health benefits of both, I, I did some research on this, I'm sure you guys know too. Why don't you, let's do a little tasting of your favorite. What, did you bring one of your favorites today? Yep. Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love my dad, <laughs> awesome. So while he's opening that, let's go to you. Why, what would you pair this with and tell us about this wine that you poured. This one actually, it's going to be, uh, in, I'm having an event on Wednesday mm -hmm. at Aqual Due. It's called, you know, Opera, where I'm pairing four wines with four dishes and, and with each course, three opera songs with live singers. But anyways, this is, I'm going to be serving it in particular that night with uh, orequiete mm -hmm. and uh, chinguiale wild boar sausage. Okay. So uh, it's a handmade pasta with uh, uh, wild boar sausage and light tomato sauce. Let me taste. Has it already has it yeah. opened up? Yeah. That's the thing. Wine needs to breathe when you have it. Beer doesn't need to breathe, right? Or does Correct. it? Correct. No. It's ready to drink. So that's one benefit well, they have. Well, you can find wines that do not need, need yeah, to breathe. Yeah, they're cheap. <laughs> well, <laughs> Who wants to drink cheap wine? <laughs> well, it could be good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, this one in particular is a Primitivo from the region of Puglia, uh, actually the hill of Italy. And I it's very had tasty. a sip. <laughs> My producer goes, are you drinking? That is a nice wine. I have a taste of beer, too. Yeah. Primitivo that is, is called Sinfandel. What in other parts of the world. Tell us the flavors are in that. Uh, like, what do you taste? It's very well. You have you have you, you have spices. Mm -hmm. You have earthiness. You have some a little bit of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. You have some berries as well, and uh, a little bit of le leather. I didn't taste the leather. I'll tell you that. But, but I you taste can smell it. it. I I prefer that wine because I'm not a sweet uh, wine person. I like that. Now let's mm -hmm. taste your favorite beer. Here's an example of a very complex Hi. beer. This is our Stone. 11, 11, 11 vertical epic ale. And mm. to just show you that we don't dislike wine and there are some uses for wine, this is aged in white wine barrels. It is. So you're gonna pick up some Venice characteristics from it and it's gonna be quite interesting. And you're swirling it like they you swirl wine. You should treat wine, beer, beverages all the same. They should all be nosed appropriately for your olfactory uh, glands up in your sinuses. You should take a little swish, cleanse your palate, open your palate, drink it. Same with wine, same with beer, same mm. with fine spirits. Do you find uh, beer more filling? Because uh, I could drink a couple, I love beer by the right. way. I don't always drink it because I, right. I c 
can probably drink too much because right. <laughs> I right. like it. And it goes down faster than wine, right? It's filling. It does, especially on, it depends. Certain beers, the ones that you're going to drink on a hot summer day, you're going to have a tendency to take larger oh, yeah. drinks than having it as a digestive after a great meal, for example, uh, and having it in a cognac snifter and right. just sipping it. So of alcohol these alcohol three, beer. which one's your favorite? Well, these are all the same. I okay. poured for everybody. Oh, I'm generous. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> I Cheers, have wine everyone. glasses in my office, and during break, you guys can have Cheers. some wine. Okay. Cheers. Salud. Mm. So what am I tasting? That's delicious. You're, you're actually picking up some Venice notes from the wine barrel, some uh -huh. tannins, but you're also getting big caramel across the palate, toffee, and winter fruit, uh, fig, plum, raisin, things like that. See, to me, that's like a meal. I eat. It it's is really a meal, delicious. yes. Um, so let's talk about the health benefits. Okay. Um, looking at beer... You know, there was, um, they were saying that women would live longer drinking at least a beer a night, and that's probably for the stress levels. Correct. But also, um, they talked about kidney stones. Correct. So tell us about that. Well, uh, beer has uh, silica in it, which is, mm -hmm. uh, is a very vital substance. It's like calcium. Mm -hmm. And one pint of beer has two-thirds of the daily recommended dosage, and that improves your bone structure, teeth, yep. uh, hair, uh, and... It's got all kinds of other things. So it basically decreases the risk of kidney stones. It strengthens your bones. It's exactly. It's got antioxidants yeah. in it. It's got polyphenols from the hops, yep. which are amazing to decrease cancer. It's got actually the same amount. Now, we're talking craft beer once yeah. again, not that fizzy yellow stuff. That stuff has no benefits for it. <laughs> but craft oh, he's beer, a beer snob. <laughs> craft beer has the same amount of antioxidants as red wine and five times more than a white wine. See, I've never read that because I've done my, but I, that's interesting to know. There's a lot of things I read about beer that I didn't yeah. know, all these fun facts. Um, in fact, at one point, pregnant women thought they had to drink oh, beers yeah. back had to yep. drink beer in order to breastfeed. Up to 70s, they, uh, the milk stouts in England, they used to advertise that a pregnant woman should have one to two glasses a day, yeah. or even when they were lactating. Um, the bottom line is beer and wine are both amazing and very beneficial mm -hmm. for health, but just like anything else, it should be moderation. Yeah. They say one glass for a, a woman, two glasses for a man. But they say with a mm -hmm. wine, four ounces is one glass. That's not very much. Yeah, it's about And then it's one to two glasses. A hundred and a... Uh, 20 milliliters. Right. So that's moderate drinking. I, you know, most people have more than two four ounce glasses. But the, you know, they say uh, there's evidence that it promotes longevity. Obviously, the resveratrol, some of it, although you have to have a lot, consume a lot of resveratrol, 34% lower mortality rate than beer or spirits drinker. It helps reduce heart attack. Yeah. Uh, lowers the risk of heart disease. Again, this is moderate drinking, folks. This isn't right, like yeah. pounding down half a bottle. Reduces risk of type 2 diabetes. Lowers risk of stroke. Uh, and that, I do think, because it helps thin the blood, right? Yeah, well, it's and because, you know, it, the alcohol levels, mm -hmm. the antioxidants mainly, are the ones, are the key ingredients here that help uh, and gives us the health benefits mm -hmm. uh, in wine, whether it is... Uh, there are also beliefs that white wine helps with vision. I never heard that either. Yeah, no. Which it one does has more calories, the white, a four ounce glass of white wine or a four ounce glass of red uh, wine? I always wanted to know that. About the white wine would have, a glass would have like 65 calories. Red wine around 70. Okay, so now what about beer? beer? A glass of well, beer. Well, calories, calories. Cal calories are completely based off of yeah. the alcohol by volume level. So, due to the fact that average wine is higher alcohol than beer, the same amount of wine versus beer, there's more calories in uh, wine than there is beer. But if you're having six If you're having a pint, you're having more beer than wine. So, it varies by alcohol. If you're having a 5% beer, it might be 120 calories. If you're having a 15% beer, which they are out there, it could be quite a bit more. And I think the difference is the type of beer you're drinking. We're not, if you're drinking the cheap stuff you get in the stores Correct. or the exactly. finely brewed. Well, you can get craft beer, craft breweries. There's 2,400 craft breweries in America now. There's all over the place and everywhere from 7-Elevens to grocery stores to your wine shops, just like there's at beer shops, there's great wine, things like that. So it's out there. It's just making that sensible choice and picking something of quality mm -hmm. over quantity. The one, and I love that there's so many minerals in the craft beers that you don't get in the other type of beers. But I, my favorite thing about red wine is uh, slows brain decline because 
you know, my grandmother died from Alzheimer's, <laughs> and there are times where I'm like, I need to slow down. <laughs> for well, yeah. <laughs> so it helps with the memory, but also well, let me tell you this. <laughs> so <laughs> wine right? and beer have the same. He's a good so, debater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beer <laughs> has. Go ahead. The, it also helps with uh, psychology and social. Uh, elements on, on Both the of lifestyle. them will get you pregnant right. if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you become more social when you right. have wine. And what about beer? You become more social? Yeah, definitely. But <laughs> you have liquid courage. I'll tell you something about beer. Beer has silica in it and silica has a bonding agent to aluminum and most uh, scientists feel that aluminum could be a, the major cause from Alzheimer's. So it binds to aluminum and it and gets, it rid, gets of it. rid of it. So ah. it processes so it through the system. Wine doesn't have that. Wine has a lot of good benefits. But look at you guys heard all the facts. They're both fabulous. I happen to love both. In the past, I stayed away from drink. I drink more wine than beer because I'm afraid of the calories. Well, and but speaking of which, yeah, what he said, the alcohol ratio uh, with the calories, he was right. But if you're going to have a glass of wine or a beer, you're going to have less than half with a glass of wine than with a beer. So drink responsibly regardless yes. but enjoy both of them you got one life and right. drink moderately this is all moderate levels i will say if you come out to stone brewing company in escondido we have a, a great wine list to go with our beer list because we find that we want to serve artisanal organic and yeah. quality products so whether it's the food the beer the wine come on out i'm sure at martin's restaurant he's the same he's yep. all about sourcing the best things uh, and having quality. it for your enjoyment yeah. quality ingredients for the for our guests yeah I love it. I love it. So I love come it. Come by and see us. Next time you guys come on, we'll have to do a special discount for our viewers. Oh, of course. Something good. Okay, thank you both. The decision's up to you. You heard it all right here on Primetime. Beer. Cheers. Wine. How you decide. Cheers, everybody. And we want to hear from you, so email us. Let us know what you think. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> nice. Double Cheers. fisting. I like it. Double. Cheers, Martin. I'm not really drinking this. I've got you. We'll be right back. Thanks. Deep in the heart of me